build for me a tower. Build for me the best tower you can. You've still got my... Oh, mum, mum's got the big box of it still. Negotiating between parents and children, how the model is like going to school, and how the model is like learning science. This one is like the kind of parent-child thing. You've got two people who obviously want to do different kind of things, but one of them will always end up dragging the other one in <laughs> to get them to see their way. This one was um, the idea of sort of negotiating between parents and children in that, you know, you're starting off and it's all quite stable, and somewhere along the way, kind of, the tensions uh, come in and, uh, you know, it all looks like it's going to collapse, but somehow just uh, holds together. So please, build your role in your school, or build your role in your organization. He's nicking all my pieces. <laughs> it I'm head of faculty and I've got three people that are immediately under me who then correspond to more people who correspond further down. So I'm sort of sitting there... Um, these are the kids, these are the strands of knowledge that we're giving out. And above me is uh, various people to the all-seeing eye of the head. <laughs> <laughs> Here is a model of me kind of like receiving knowledge with like an aerial on a satellite type thing. Here is another model of me, which is like looking through into the windows of opportunities. And this doesn't really represent me, but here is the box, and here is me outside the box. Together, all of you, so there's no individuals or pairs, just all of you, uh, if you can do a bit of self-organization and construct for me a single identity for this team. Does that have to be a square box or can it be a yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That represents, as I understand it, the box that we're in now, all the constraints. And over here we have the concept of, of breaking out. Uh, we've gone from the opaque bricks to the transparent bricks, and the nature of the group is that what we're trying to do is to, is to see through the problems. So can you model for me some of the hows? Some of the, show me a new space for science. Build me a new experience. I think maybe you could have like a collaboration space where you're just sitting down and talking about something. <clears throat> but that would really depend on having a different type of blessing where you could just discuss something, where it's not someone trying to teach something. The stuff I hate is when you've got the experiment and you do the experiment, but there's another experiment that you want to do with it to see if it do something, but you can't, you're not allowed. In terms of the community coming into the school... I think that could be really good if you did actually have a place that literally has a sofa, a coffee table, <laughs> something that isn't a <laughs> something that isn't... A bit like this. Yes, like this, something that isn't table, chair, table, chair. Why, why don't we? Yeah, yeah, why don't we? So here we've got a microcosm of the real world, the world we live in. And that world we live in has other belief systems that coexist alongside the, the belief system, which is science. That we are all part of it, whether we practice science or not. From a learning point of view, our learning of science is never going to stop at the school gate. Uh, basically, this is kind of our idea of an ideal school classroom situation. We don't want to spend the whole time sitting down in chairs in classrooms, although that's good some of the time. We've got a lecture theatre over here. They can give us demonstrations of stuff, so we want a kind of area where you can just sit and chat and discuss things, but you've got access to a whole world of knowledge and information. You've got little laptops and everything all dotted around the place. What if we just had to do something new and different? It couldn't be like a classroom. It couldn't be something you put in the walls of a school. It couldn't be, and this is the set of the challenge, I don't want it to be like anything that's out there right now. You know, so how do you create a space that tells stories, that shows linkages, that takes you to a place you weren't expecting? You, know, you learn something without realising it, you make connections you didn't know you were going to make. That would be ideal, if you could take it out of your head, and so you could actually show somebody what you were thinking, and then they could say, oh, yeah, yeah, and what about mine? And then mine merge the two in front of you. You need some sort of concept of education to teach everybody to a certain level. Otherwise, it's more like 
something that you do as a leisure activity rather than something which is actually teaching you a skill. Modern education seems to be pushing everybody down a single rigid path and telling them what they have to learn when they have to learn it, irrespective of what their own personal inclinations and, and speeds of learning are. And that's why I think people forget things that they've learned in the classroom a lot faster than they forget personal learning that they've done, which is part of recreation. What we're almost going back to is like almost like nursery school learning, but in a really, but in a much more looking at bigger things, I don't know that, how that can fit into it, but I know I remember everything I did at nursery. Not everything, but I, I know all the skills that I learned and all the knowledge I got from nursery. And it, it felt just like recreation, so I don't know whether that could be built into this in some way.